up everybody? I'd like to welcome you on another episode of Shorty Gray Television. Today we're picking up where we left off last time on Jedi Survivor. I'd like to apologize in advance y'all last time that I did my extra long live stream. Half of it never made it to YouTube. So, the reason I have not posted anything recently is because I literally had to start this game from scratch, play all the way back up to this point where it cut me off, and then also I had to wait to get Mediacom out here so they could diagnose what was wrong with my internet and hopefully get it fixed. So I'm hoping it's fixed now. Honestly, I'm a little paranoid about trying the live stream at the moment. That's why it's just an upload video. But no, I will be doing another live stream here soon. I just want to see how the upload goes, see if it cuts off at all while it's uploading, you know what I mean? Because if it doesn't, then I know it's going to do on the live stream. Alright y'all, let's get into it. Jedi Survivor, picking up where we left off last time. About to face the big bad boss. You feel me? Let's get it. Just so y'all know, for all purposes of this exercise, I'm using dual sabers and my single blade as well. I found the last time that I fought this guy, dual sabers works the best. But I'm not going to lie, this guy is extremely difficult, especially this early in the game. Last time I was stuck on it for like literally an hour. That never made it onto YouTube. <laughs> Gotta love it. Alright, let's customize this though. Your full beard. Oh, do I not have any of the hairs? Guess not. Yes, not. I had a bunch of hairs on my other one. All right, we're gonna go hermit style, son. All right, we're ready to roll out. Let's get them. Let's get them. Come on, baddie. In case y'all didn't remember, last time we seen one of these characters was in The Return of the Jedi in the Jabba the Hutt's lair. Now we about to whoop him again, y'all. Not gonna lie, this is an insanely tough boss fight, especially this early in the game. You gotta know when to parry, when to dodge, and when to actually block. Like right there, you gotta jump. No! Oh, anytime he slams something down, you usually want to jump. Except for whenever he does the claw thing, then you want to, you know, parry. Don't just block him. If you block him, he's going to break your guard and he's going to destroy you real quick. You got to parry, dodge, jump, all that good stuff. You know what I mean? This guy is extremely difficult. Ugh! That one you got to dodge. That one's usually better to dodge, uh, usually better to jump, but that time I dodged it. Oh crap. Buddy. See, it's a lot better to jump on those. Come on, ma. Oh, cheap shot and son of a bitch. I forgot to jump. It's all right, y'all. We're going to get him. Like I said, this guy is extremely, extremely difficult, but we will beat him. One thing I should have done, though, is I should have used my uh, force upgrade points way before I jumped in battle with this guy. I don't know why I didn't. Like, honestly, that was pretty dumb of me, y'all. Or wait, am I still able to use my points? Weird, that's not like any souls like I remember. Usually whenever you die, your points are gone. Alright, definitely gonna buy a couple of those. Let's see over here. Oh, nice. So now we got a spinning strike whenever we release that. 
All right, let's get back into it with them. Let's see what happens, y'all. I'm actually really surprised it allowed me to use my points even though the guy just dropped me. Oh, come on, I was blocking. Come on, son. Oh, whatever, dog. You don't know me, son. Listen, guys, I'm going to tell you what. Last time I'm not even playing, I was stuck on this guy for an hour. I'm kind of upset that I really got to do this again so early, man. Because this dude was tough. But guess what? We're going to get him. Come on, baby. Ah! Help, BD. Come on, get that help. That help, big boy. Come on, baby. I thought he had me. LPD. Oh, bull! Bull, man! Ugh. Sorry, y'all. We're going to get him this time. Best believe it. We're going to get him. He is going to be stopped. This is Shorty Gray Television. We do this for real. Let's get him. See, you gotta parry those things. Oh, not like that. I need help. Ugh, come on, son. Ugh. Come on, baby. I didn't mean to double stem, shit. Oh, come on, I was blocking. I don't care what you say, dog. Come on, baby. This time, baby. Last time it took an hour. This time it didn't even take 20 minutes. What it do? That's how you bring them down, son. I know I killed those prospectors. Until Grace hears about this, right on his doorstep. Oh, that is what I'm talking about, baby. All right, guys, just so you know, whenever he hits you with the claws, you got to parry. Whenever he stomps down, always jump. Whenever he does a move where he's all red and all that dust comes up at you, again, always jump. Whenever he charges you, do not try to parry. Do not try to block. The only way out of that is dodge. Dodge to the left, dodge to the right. Just get out of that move's way, okay? If you do that, you're going to beat him quick like I just did. Ah, right, you discovered a perk. Different types of perks can be found throughout the game. It can change the way you play significantly. You start with three available perk slots. More slots can be unlocked as you progress. Especially powerful perks may require multiple slots. All right. This first one, I believe, uh, it caught, it takes up two slots. Perks can be viewed anytime in the perk section of the abilities menu. Currently equipped perks can be managed at meditation points. We're gonna stop back at that last meditation point, and I want to make sure that my perk is on, locked, and loaded. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't know me, son. And just so you guys are aware, the only thing that I did differently that I didn't do before the game cut me off last time, or before my internet cut me off last time, I should say, uh, was I went to the prospector that's on the edge of town that actually tells you about this guy in the cave and sends you over here to do a mission for, okay? So that's the only thing that's different, and don't worry, I'm going to show you where she's at. I mean, when we bring up, hey, you know, this isn't my walkthrough, because I did whenever I was, like, playing back through after my internet screwed up, and I had two hours that never made it to YouTube on my last live stream. So fun, fun, okay? 
All right, so let's see about this perk. Let's make sure that we get it added in the right slot. You know what I mean, sir? Put it in the right slot. The right naughty slot. All right, Shatter. Block meter damage. Attacks are more effective at breaking enemy stance. Again, this takes two perk slots, which I'm cool with that. All right, so there's that. Switch my stance back to double bladed. I like the dual bladed for the boss fights and then the double bladed for just normal traveling because I love how you can like, you know, whenever you're going to parry, you can actually return multiple shots. So if you got like four or five droids shooting at you, you can send all the shots back at them and take them out like very quickly. I love it. All right. So let's see here. What do we want? What do we want? 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 All right. Let's see. Bam, bam, bam. Chick a wham. Reduces time that it takes to heal. Nice. So we're a lot quicker on the draw now. Alright, y'all. Let's head back. I love how we got like the Obi-Wan style here. Mm. Be one with the Force. I am one with the Force. The Force is with me. I am one with the Force. The Force is with me. So you remember that from uh, Rogue One, guys? Ooh, you see how I made it back right there, bro? That was super slick, bro. All right, let's go back here. Big, they call me Pimp Daddy Pain. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, stop running. Stop running. It's not nice. It is not nice. Come on, run, 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 run. How am I supposed to get those things? What, am I supposed to corral them all the way back up? Because that's not happening, Saw. Alright. I end up on this blasted planet in the middle of this blasted outer rim nowhere. I don't know, bud. Sounds like a personal problem. All right, we're going to head actually head back this way. There's some side stuff I want to get before we go meet up with Grease. Before we meet up with the Greaser, you know what I mean? Anybody ever read the book called The Outsider? You know what I'm talking about whenever I say Greaser then. Ha ha. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> uh, naughty nice. Uh, you should have known, son. I'm a Jedi Master. Don't ever step up to me. Those that step up get put down. I should have grabbed an extra. I should have rested back there, though. That way I'd have my three healing slots. But it is what it is. We'll do it here in a minute. Shimon Lee. Shimon Lee. Gotcha. Ha ha. Dude, that was with no extra stems. See me take them all out? That was some real G shit right there, baby. Alright, we got the bomber outfit. Alright, let's head over here real quick. Scan that BD. Oh, I hear you, BD. Let's see. Alright, Gorger's score impacts a strategy that has served them well. When the often desperate and hapless prospectors come to Cabal, a single hunter poses no problem to a prospector with a blaster. But when lured to a nest full of bees, the situation rapidly deteriorates. Got that right, man. Almost deteriorate for us, and we're a freaking Jedi Master. I had to use my slow, whatever you call my force powers to slow them down. My freeze powers. Alright, let's head back. We'll go up to that high spot. 
where the uh, right over here to our right because that is where another four cycle or whatever is alright bam if I remember right there's some enemies up here too that could mess me up so I gotta be careful oh crap there's one big one up here too I almost forgot about that map let's see if I can get to this without awakening him just yet cause I'll definitely die like I said, dude, there was like two hours on my last live stream that didn't make it onto YouTube, so I know a lot of this now, unfortunately. Alright, so we need to get back there. There we go. And their faithful DJ droid, or some of Kabal's most electric newcomers, is not unheard of them. For them to be found in often unsafe location of the valley, sampling whatever sounds catching their curiosity. Alright, so we're going to go down heal, or at least get to where we can rest so we can heal. And then we'll come back up this way. But if we don't, we're going to die. <laughs> One thing that's kind of weird, it seems like they put a lot more safe, uh, safe zones around. We're going rest. All right, now we're back in the game, baby. Let's head back over here. All right, now let's head back and go fight those things that are up top. Then we'll head over directly in front of us afterwards. Mmm, that's how you get rid of them. A little bit of force pull and slash. You know what I mean, baby. Alright, so let's head up here. There we go. Alright, let's go fight these beasts. I know it's a big one. It's a big one! Come on, baby! Got me there. Come on, baby. Ooh, you see how I did that one, baby? Oh, gotcha. All right. Told you we had a big one up here. So glad I went back down and healed. Like, he only got me once, but that would have killed me how I was before. Got the home dog jacket. Alright, let's uh, head back down. Dude, I'm actually really happy with myself on how quick I was able to beat that boss, bro. Literally, the first time I played through this, it took me an hour to beat him. Like, I'm not even close to playing. It legit took an hour. I was so mad. Especially by the end of it, man. I was looking like a fool in front of everybody. I'm kind of glad, I guess, in a way that did make it to YouTube, but not really. Because that was real, at least. You know what I mean? Like, now it's kind of like, you know what I mean? It ain't legit because I've already done it. Oh! Oh, gotcha! That's how you do that one, son. I'm like an OG, triple OG with this, ma. I get it. They're weird things. I'd like to know what's in them, too. But we don't have that kind of time or resources. So, no. And please stop asking. 
You sure about that, son? Prospects could borrow interest in the fastest, easiest ways of getting paid. Requests to investigate mysterious and seemingly impossible to enter monoliths. Therefore, we met, were met with swift denials. Alright, so, let's go ahead and head over here now. We're going to make sure we hit every little bit of this, man, before we go see Grease. You feel me? Alright, so head up here, go right through here real quick. See that right there. I think there's some back here first. Is there? Nope. I guess there is not. Mmm. You can't mess with the master. Alright, so we gotta head up top. That's how I did it last time. We gotta head up top. All right, naughty nice. So, how's everybody doing, man? How's everybody doing this beautiful Mother's Day? Y'all didn't know this is a Mother's Day edition of Shorty Gray Television. I hope y'all having a great day. I hope y'all get to spend it with your mothers. I hope you make them realize, you know, that they're the true MVPs, and without them, you wouldn't be who you are today. You know, just really try to enjoy your day with your mother, man. Like, I didn't get to spend Mother's Day with my mom, unfortunately. Mainly because I live clear in a different city. I've been working a lot of hours. And, you know, I had college work. I just finished a college assignment plus a test today that, I, you know, didn't have time to do ahead of time. So it really sucks, man. I didn't get to spend Mother's Day with my mom. So for you guys that did or are currently, make sure that you're making sure that she enjoys her day. And you enjoy your time with her and y'all have a good Mother's Day, man. Because she definitely deserves it, you know what I mean, for putting up with all your shit over the last 18 or 25 or however many years. You know what I mean? Let her know she's appreciated, bro. Just like Tupac said. Huh? Alright, so let's see here. Find something, buddy. A mechanical touch! The outpost is small, but continuing to grow. The development means my knack for mechanics has attracted attention. I was asked to help. He did not want me to, but I did. I think by automating some of these spear... It, I was trying to rap it, dude, but like I, the words were getting weird. I couldn't get in the rhyme. Whatever, dude. They weren't meant to rhyme. I think by automating some of these spear grenades, we can figure something out. All right, guys. So, the spear grenades is what we use to bust some shit open here. You feel me? You feel me, dog? This is a nice mm, one. Got another one of those. Go ahead, Mike. Kick it out, Mike. Come on, Mike. Y'all ever seen Hustle and Flow? Be like, come on, Mike. Oh! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Go ahead and slice that BD. Come on, baby. Let's roll. Come on, Brahim. Going too slow, dog. Oh, got it. All right. Got force essence, maximum force increase, baby. All right, let's head out then. Go this way. Make sure we're not missing anything through here while we're at it. Alright, so we're head over here and go up through this way. Wonder if I'm able to blow my way through there. I'm actually gonna try that real quick too. Nope. Not to there. You know, I'm gonna lead one of these droids over there to have a little mess and see if I'm able to blow it up. Seems like this game has a lot of glitches in it, bro. Like, it just gets to points where it kind of like slows down and gets real jumpy on you. 
But don't get me wrong, it's a good game. I just wish they'd stop releasing video games with all these glitches in them, you know what I mean? Like, release the game fully done. They've been doing that a lot lately. Alright, come on, mate. Hey, in this way, mate. Come on, mate. Come on, blood. Let's go. Now I'm playing. I'm playing, y'all. <laughs> All right. Come on, baby. They let me in. Heck no, my. All right, so we're heading over here. We made it. It'll be good to see Grease again. Did we make it though? Maybe he knows where the others ended up. See her stuck in the past. Ancient history. Alright, let's head up here. Ooh, we found some more stuff, y'all. This is why you always go everywhere before Watch going to the main here. story. I don't like you and you don't like me. That's right. But you annoy me a lot less than the others. Just go nowhere, town. And I think you feel the same. What are you saying? Out with it already. I'm saying this is a date. And we're on it. Like it. Too bad. <laughs> Need for will be sort of highly conventional but extremely long lasting relationship. Alright, let's head over here right quick. Nice. Make sure we get everything we can, baby. Alright, so. I do not. Gotta unlock this. Perfect, buddy. Hmm. Still can't get in because of that. Maybe if we plug it in over here, there's some else. Wonder what that does. I think we gotta get in there to do something with it though. I don't know. We'll head back down over here to that prospector I told you I'd show y'all. First, I kind of want to check this right here. Oh, and I'm there. Alright, this is the prospector, bro. So, what did you find? I took down the rank where I was stalking the mines, but I didn't find any prospectors. So, let me get this straight no rank or no survivors, no competition? It's mine for the taking. You didn't care about the wow. prospectors, did you? You just wanted the prior right. I'm gonna level with you. Yes, and now that mine's all mine. You better be careful. Who knows if there's another Rancor down there. You're just <laughs> yanking my chain, right? Right? No, I don't know, lady. Maybe you shouldn't be so cold towards other people, ma. to focus on my equipment. 
Mm, I like the way the lightsaber works, so we're good for now. Alright, let's head out. Let's go meet up with Greasy Grace. Greasy Grace and the Funky Bunch. Alright, everybody. Grease is right over this way. Ooh, there's them guys. Remember? We just got a deal about them. They said they'd be in a quick relationship. Are they being in a very, yeah, weird relationship? You can't miss it. Yeah, that is a very weird relationship. That's crazy. Alright, blood. Here we go, baby! Think you can pull a fast one on us? Hey! It was all just a misunderstanding! Hey! Let him go. That! We cannot do. Ravis. This. Sold us a priceless relic. Did he now? We have been searching for. Then maybe you shouldn't be a dumbass. Of course. It's fake. See, you can't blame him for being an op, you know, an entrepreneur, man. You should blame yourself for being so stupid. You ain't doing nothing. Walk away. A Jedi. You know it, son. Remind our friend here why his god are supposed to be dead. <laughs> supposed to be has nothing to do with reality, son. If anything, it should teach him very hard to kill. Oh, it got me. There you go, baby. Come on, ma. Gotcha. Yeah, because he knew he was outgunned. Yeah, you won't wait till you got all your buddies to jump on me. Because you a coward, son! Straight coward! <laughs> There's Doma. Only way we survive is by sticking together. 
That's right. You didn't have to step in on just now, but you did. Yes, you did. Turbo. Shut it. <laughs> we'll keep your secrets safe. I'm sure we could both benefit from Sex. <laughs> All right, let's go meet up with Grease, y'all. All right, relatively rich in natural minerals and has some archaeological interest. Cabal has attracted state trickle prospectors in the last several decades. Not all of them stuck around or survived, but those that do struggle is what that says. The Jindai Ravis is the leader of the, Beldum, of the Bedlam Raiders. He orders his lieutenant to kill Turgo after being sold a fake key. And we stop it. The unofficial Mayor Cabal has been seen, has seen the outposts up and downs over the decades. <laughs> run for a blaster, but run a little faster. Potential <laughs> What'll it mean? Nothing. Thanks. Oh, well, that's a mistake. Looking for an old friend. Four arms. Harry. Big mouth. Vertically challenged. You can come out now, old boy. The coast is clear. I tell you, Monk, the Bedlam Raiders are gonna be the end of this town. We got no <laughs> zero, still nothing. How you doing, BD? Ah, wait a minute. Cal, Cal, can't just get over here, you son of a bottling. Oh, <laughs> I love how they made uh, Grease look in this game, too. With all the dreadlocks and his beard and hair, whatever it is. <laughs> What sort of trouble? The Imperial kind. Oh, I should have guessed. They've been creeping around Kobo too late. Gyros burnt out on the Mantis. We'll need your help to get moving again. Yeah, sure, whatever you need. Come on, grab some seed. Listen, Monk, get my friend something special to drink. Refreshments. One slippery Monk coming right up. Welcome to Pilot Saloon, the finest dive this side of Zaltrout. <laughs> yeah, your description uh, didn't do it justice. Here's sand in your eye. Monkey and I it <laughs> from the previous owner to a, well, uh, well, he caught a fatal case of blaster poisoning courtesy of the Bedlam Raiders. We've been introduced. You okay, Grease? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> as long as I don't have anything they need. Hey, what happened to the manse? Oh. We are on Coruscant, gathering intel for Saw Guerrera. Things got bad. Only two of us made it out. And the undoing feels pointless. The Empire's only growing stronger. Things, uh, haven't been the same since the team's split. Yeah, hey, we had some good times, didn't we, huh? Me, you, the Space Witch, Seer. Have you talked to her lately? Marin's always on the move, exploring new places, making new friends. I was talking about Seer. No. It's been a while. You? Well, her credits helped us get this place off the ground, but she hasn't visited yet. Very busy with this new project. Hey, Gal. Why don't you relax a little before we fix the manus? The galaxy can wait a couple of hours. Well, we should probably can it though? as soon as we finish up. I got a spare room down in the basement made up especially for you. You should check it out. All right. Thanks, Grace. All right. Looks like we gotta go check this out, Mike. Let's talk, Grace. Again. You're gonna love it. Just take a right after the bar, through the kitchen, and down the stairs. You can't miss it. Right. Thanks again, Grease. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can thank me by getting some shut-eye. You really <laughs> do look terrible. You've been 
working here for a while? A while? No, I'd hardly call it working. You see, that would imply we had regular customers. Shame. <laughs> this place has potential. Yeah, that's the story I keep telling myself, Sport. That's the story. Man, you know it's got some potential, son. Must not get a lot of business here. Probably not, bro. All right, let's see. What up, common folk? What gave it away? I'm a Jedi, oh, bitch. No, I'm playing. bloody murder. Oh, cute droid too. That's BD1. I'm Cal. About dang time we had some new faces in town. I'm Zig, by the way. Nice to meet you. All right, mean some of the new folks. This one over here looks like a bounty hunter. Dude, side. even the voice, it's like a throwback to, uh, I can't remember the, the guy's name, but he's a bounty hunter in the Clone Wars, right? And he, he was blue like that, had the face like that. Um, he was like one of the ones that gave Obi-Wan and uh, Anakin the most trouble as far as the bounty this hunters that they would the encounter. Case. I can't remember his name. He was also in the Book of Boba Fett. He was in the very last episode. But I'll think of the name and I'll make sure to tell you guys, man. But that's who she reminds me of. I think she's kind of like a uh, Easter egg, you know, that's supposed to remind you of him. There's the kitchen. Basement must be through here. Don't tell me how to live my life. All right, let's see here. Bam, ba, ba, bam, ba, bam, bam, bam. Well, Examine soon. He's really outdid himself. Hobo's pretty far from the nearest trade route. Looks like Breeze makes do with salvage. Nice new conversations That's now right. available to saloon. Why did Breeze keep this? I Probably know. thought you needed some. Alright, we definitely need to rest real quick, get off our health. Potions back or whatever you want to call them or health stems Here could use a few tweaks. Yeah, let's give BD1 a few tweaks here. Let's see what we got, what we got, what we got, got, got. Nice. He's always had a green thumb. Now he talks to his plants. <laughs> I believe it. All right, let's go ahead and crash this dude out and then see what our adventure holds next. Hey, you creepy Some dude. Never change. Weirdo. Hairball. <laughs> Thanks for letting me crash here. Of course. Why do you think I've kept your stuff around all these years? I was hoping you'd stop by and maybe take a break. You both know what happens when I stay in one place too long. You said there's a spare gyro around here somewhere? You got plenty of time to fix the management. You are what I want to talk about. I'm fine. The sooner we get moving, the better. And then what? You're gonna go find some trouble with Saw Guerrero? Maybe. Yeah. One of us has to keep fighting. That's funny. That's the exact same thing you said the day we all split up. Yeah, because I... Because he has to keep fighting, man. See, Grease is a true friend for this, bro. He's really trying to look out for him. Every day. Now maybe it's time for you to be 
something more than a lightsaber. Think about yourself. Settle down. Find a home. What? Home, Breeze. There is no home. Home was the Order. It was my teacher. It was everyone I lost. What does their sacrifice mean if I'm going to just give up and stick my head in the sand? to take it from me. Somebody who had to learn the hard way. You gotta know when to walk away from a rigged game, otherwise you are gonna end up losing something you could never replace. He's talking about his hand. Say so he's got that robotic hand now. She is new. Came with the canteen. Now, now we're getting some real, real empire time sure shit. Able to find whatever you need to get the man is up and Thanks. We're doing some Han Solo smuggling now. Cal, can I tell you one thing? It's real good seeing you again. Yeah, you too. Breeze, I'll think about what you said. Hey, uh, watch your step down there. Be careful. <laughs> I definitely have a pest problem. Alright, so the Mantis assistance failing barely makes it to Cabal. The ship crash landing in Dusty Canyon. Cabal. And then Cal defend the locals from the Raiders leader, a Jin Da named Ravis. The aftermath degrees emerge from hiding and the old friends are reunited. Alright. Let's see here's Halex doing There we go. I knew there was some we had to scan. Oh, That's the one we played at the very beginning of the it's last game, Jedi better. Fallen Order. Uh, no, thank you. Go ahead, get the gyro, and you know, hurry back, be careful, and all the other warnings I used to give you. To. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we'll be fine, and all the things we used to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. I guess fine's enough. <laughs> See, that's a true friend, man. All right, let's head down. What I want, 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 what I want, want, want. Breeze always kept a few secrets up his sleeve. Anything down here? Nope. Yeah, you always gotta make sure, man. You never know. Cave in. One of several tunnels routing beneath Pylon Saloon, proximity to the landing pad would have made the passage ideal for smuggling goods. And now the Sentra hidden from prying and curious eyes. Yes, it would have. Ouch. Ooh. Yeah, messed up, son. Are these what spook grease? Probably. No, you're a little scared, cat. Stop being scared. Uh, let's see here, guys. Uh, what you know about that? Crap, now we gotta go down because that's there. Ooh, gotcha. Can't stop me now.
All right, skill point acquired, y'all. I love doing that. That never gets old soon. More scraps, huh? Leave it to Grease to take another person's junk and add more junk. I didn't mean to do that. Door is locked from the other side. <laughs> All right, no, I seen that right. Show you right. Stop messing up. See this one's home, my bro. Every once in a while, this game does that, man. No? They need to stop releasing games before they're actually done. Like, don't get me wrong, dude. This game's amazing, but they really need to stop releasing them early. Like, you know what I mean? Release the... I, I miss the old days, bro. Back in the original Xbox, PS2, hell, even the PS3. They used to release games that were fully made. They wouldn't release them with, you know, with them, like, messing up like that. Come on, baby, go down, go down, go down. That's how you do that. Is there nothing down here? Or did I break the game and go to an area you're not even supposed to be able to go? I think I broke the game right there, son. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice. I didn't know this was here. Cool. I just found something real slick, y'all. Whole secret room. I never found this my first time playing through, man. It was actually a good thing, man, that that happened and I ended up having to go back through this because otherwise this would not have been on my walkthrough. I would have completely missed it. Door is locked from the other side. Lock tight. Oh well, I guess Lisa's able to get that. All right, let's head on out. Nice, that was awesome. Dopeness. Alright, let's head back over here. Let me guess. More prospecting equipment. <laughs> is there anyone know it. who isn't digging for scraps? getting there. Nice, I thought you run back that way. There has to be a way around them little green things later on. Ooh, what do we get? Looks like we got a part for the mantis, y'all. Going down for real. 
going down. I'm yelling, Timber, you better move. You better dance. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I had to do something there. Try to make it a little bit entertaining, man. Never look when you can leave, hey? You know it, bud. Looks like we found Jedi Temple, y'all. All right, y'all. This actually came at the perfect point. I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in on another episode of Shorty Great Television. I much appreciate all y'all coming out. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Please, please do. I want y'all to like, subscribe. I want y'all to comment. I want y'all to get interactive with me, man. Let's get these numbers up. Let's get this algorithm up. And let's get this channel popping, man. All right. Again, thank y'all for coming out. This is Shorty Great Television. I'm your host, Shorty Great. Much love. Happy Mother's Day. Make sure your mother knows she's appreciated. Make sure your mother knows you love her. And I'm out. Peace.